Hey, what's shaking everyone? It's Captain Canuck here. We're going to play a little more Kerbal Space Program. So, uh, last time we left off, uh -huh. we completed some missions, we got a lot of science, and I promised you that with this time we were going to make a trip to the moon. Uh, and maybe Minmus, actually. Maybe we'll, you know, let's do Minmus instead. It's a lot easier to get the Minmus in back, believe it or not. Um, and now that we have the huge rockets and the uh, fuel tanks to go along with that, it makes life a whole lot easier for doing that. Uh, so active now. Okay, so let's see what's available here. Okay, spacer on Kerbin. Yeah, mm -hmm. we definitely want to take mm -hmm. that one. Position sat to an adjusted orbit of Kerbin. We want to do that. Science data from space or on the moon. We can do that. Cause uh -huh. I think. Uh, Orbiting Kerbin. We don't do that. There's a bunch of rescues here too. We may want to consider doing some of these so we can add some more uh, Kerbals to our roster. Because when you rescue one from orbit, they automatically become a Kerbinaut alongside Jebediah and all the others. Uh, we got six. Do we want to do that? And uh, now let's take the science around the moon thing. So we're going to go there uh -huh. as well soonish. Okay, so let's do some of this housekeeping. Nah, nah, you know what? I promised you guys we're going to to uh, uh, min miss with a person. Let's do that. That's that's what we're going to do. There's a couple of simple ones we can do, but maybe when we launch to uh, min miss, we'll jump back because it takes, you know, a couple of days to actually get there uh, in game time. So, you know, while we're doing that, maybe we can. Uh, adjust the satellites and that kind of stuff. That only takes a few, you know, like half a day or a couple hours uh, in um, in game time. So, in the meantime, let's try and figure out how to get um, a Kerbal onto Minmus. That's where we're headed here, folks. We're going to Minmus. And we're going with the man, and we're coming back, and we're going to have a boatload of science when we get back. That's the whole plan here. And, yeah, we haven't had any more science uh, thingies, but we'll experiment. But that's all right. Okay, so first things first, we need to design the pod that's going to come back into the Earth. You got to do it backwards, right? Start from the back and work our way to the start. So start at the finish, I should say, and go to the start. And finish at the start. So how do we enter the atmosphere of Earth? Uh, we're going to take the heat shield. Um, we're going to take the parachute and. That is it. Literally. This is how we're going to come back into the Earth. Right? No messing around. Okay, so now listen. At this point, you've seen me do um, quite a few of these vessels. This one isn't going to be anything special. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out. I'm going to build it all so you're not sitting here listening to me ramble to myself for a few moments. Uh, and we're going to come back once the ship is built and we are ready to launch. Okay? So I'm going to see you in a few minutes. Okay. And we're back. So this is what I've designed. This is very much, very much, I think, over-designed. Uh, in that I think we need about, uh, well, like, like we've done the path, we need about, you know, 3,500 to 4,000 Delta V to get off of Kerbin, uh, in which case, um, you can see here we've got, uh, 3,000, 4,000, 4,200 Delta V just to get off Kerbin, and then once we got into space, I have a very efficient engine here. To, it gives us another 3,000, so I think once we get into space, we're going to have more than 3,000 Delta V to get to Minmus and back, which only takes about 1,000 to get to Minmus, and then we got to land, which really doesn't take much at all, and then we got to get back again, which doesn't take much at all. So I think we have plenty. We might be able to do a couple little stops around Minmus. Now, I don't think I have... You know, now that I think about this, do I have... No. So at some point, we can get um, computer aids to help us with uh, um, control SAS, and then we can put, like, say, a scientist on here who can go recover these and re uh, redo them. Our experiments, I should say. So you can, like, run an experiment here. You send your scientist out, uh, reset the experiment, then he comes back in. You can do it again. So that way you don't have to bring along, like, say, two of these. You only have to have one. Which I should really have two of those. Hmm. I got lots of Delta V, but it's also, it also starts to get heavy after a while. And it, uh, I don't know. Nah, you know what? Let's not get greedy. Let's just try this. I think it's going to work. Um, yeah, okay, well, here it goes. The other concern I have is when you when you get into the upper atmosphere, 
or you know the secondary atmosphere, the middle atmosphere, and you go to pop these off. Sometimes they swing inwards and hit your your uh, these on the way down. I don't really like having these on the side, but I don't really have much of a choice. And I, I also think these are overkill. I don't know if I really need these. But what it allows me to do is I'll, I'll show you actually when we get in the launch pad here. What it allows me to do is power down my skipper so that I can use it in the upper atmosphere or higher atmosphere. you 100 kilometers away. Okay, so what I can do is instead of like I would normally do here, let's turn SAS on before I forget it. Normally I would maximize my engines and just launch, but in this situation I'm actually going to tone it down a bit. Because I don't want to burn off all this fuel with this inefficient engine. I can use these really inexpensive engines to get myself up into the middle atmosphere and then just about the time that they go to full, we're going to launch them off, then I'm going to push this to full power. So right now, uh, I think we're good. We don't have RCS or anything, so we don't need to worry about it. Let's go. So I'll show you what I mean. I want to aim a little bit to the east. Actually, hold on. Before we do that, let's do settings. Uh, do, 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 do. Where's audio? Everything's. So I'm going to turn everything down to 35, I think, so you can hear me a little better with my user interface. Yeah, 34 is good enough. Voices. Yeah, I'll turn him down too, so they don't yell at you. Yeah, about that. Apply. Accept. And resume. Okay, so I do, as always, turn a little bit east. Pick up the extra delta V from the Earth, uh, curb, and the curb. The curb. As you can see, we're doing all right. So our delta V on the big main rocket isn't really dropping all that much yet. Like we're trying to conserve fuel by not powering it to max. As you can see, we're actually gaining delta V. Because around like this go here so now we're getting into the upper atmosphere or don't have to worry about getting caught by um, the atmosphere so we can start to roll over I should have rolled over a little earlier this is a pretty steep uh, incline okay we want to flatten out now we want to shoot across the horizon even though we're going almost straight up see how that's now starting to flatten out our trajectory we want to get it ourselves around the earth but we want to keep ourselves I like to as you've been seeing, I like to keep it under 100 kilometers. But look at that, 2800, that's almost what we started with when we launched off the pad, so... <clears throat> we only need to get ourselves up to 2300 to get a circularization around Kerbin. So I don't want to go any higher than that if I can avoid it. See, let's see, it's going up a little bit, but we don't want that. We want to kind of flatten out right around 80 kilometers. 80 kilometers is perfect. Still doing, yeah, we've got 2,300 meters a second. We're going to use this big booster to push us to Minmus, for God's sakes. That's, uh, we built an over-designed vessel, my friends. We're still at about 80 kilometers. That's great. See, it's going to start going up as we pick up speed, so we want to keep pushing down. The other way to do this would be just turn off the engines, wait to get your apoapsis, which we're going to have to do because I can't keep on pushing myself straight down here. It's an inefficient way of using the engines. Okay, so once that hits 80, I'm just going to cut engines. Okay, there. So we'll let ourselves drift over to our apoapsis. Oh yeah, you know what? Whilst we're at it, because we have to do, we need, yeah, surveys of the moon. There was one in here. Ah, science data from space around Kerbin. Let's do that. So I would recommend you just do a temperature or um, the other one, whatever the heck it's called. Uh, where are we here? You know, and eventually we'll put lights in these things. It becomes a lot easier to see things once you get lights. So we can just do this one here. Just take some pressure data, send it off.
No, we can't forget. We have Jeb with us now. So once we get, like, you know, uh, we can be EVA all the time, and we should be doing that once we get a deep space. Okay, so we completed that one. That's good. Get rid of that. Let's see how close we are to our Apoapsis. Close enough. So let's point down a little bit, because we're just before. Actually, let's get going here, because we're going to miss that Apoapsis. Just point down a little bit, so we're not getting past it. Oh, yeah, we're going to have so much Delta V on this. Take to 80. There. So you see everything kind of zipping around, so we get there. Oops. Apoapsis. 80 kilometers, 78. That's about perfect. So, now, what we want to do is we want to zip out here a little bit. Ah, and you see, like, this is what we're going to do in a moment. Once we once we get out to, on our trajectory with Min Miss out here, we're going to switch back, we're going to take over the SAT-2, and we need to adjust it. And look, it's just this tiny little adjustment. I don't even know what, what they want us to do. I just got to get to the apoapsis and speed up a bit to push my trajectory out to the periapsis. It's like literally adding two kilometers or something. Is that what it is? Yeah. Or whatever. It's this tiny little bit of energy you got to put into it, and we're going to complete that um, uh, that contract. It's a little bit of science, a little bit of money. It's good. Yeah, what's you? Oh, yeah, you're headed out to the sun. Sorry, I forgot about you. Okay, so we want to target this guy. Set him as target. Uh, about 40 degrees. So if that's up. We want to try and hit him about here. So that means we want to launch on this side, or we want to speed up on this side. So out of maneuver. We're going to accelerate, so we're going to prograde, and as we get just a little bit closer, where is Minmus? What happened here? Is that Minmus? Oh, that's Moon. Oh, ha! <laughs> Woo! Alright. Should be right about here. Not too much further. What am I? Uh-oh, I'm missing it. What did I do wrong? Did I get that wrong? Is it 40, like 90 degrees? Is it less? Yeah, maybe it's a whole heck of a lot less. What am I doing here? What? Oh. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. <laughs> we got a who. Yeah, we're not going to the moon. We're going to Minimus, everybody. I'm off by 17 degrees. That is... What is going on here? Why? This is my... What is going on? Oh, you think I'm launching a satellite or some shit. What is... Uh, so where is my... Unset target. Set target. There. For some reason, yeah, that was weird. I didn't have my ascending, descending nodes. Okay, so this is your ascending node. So what we want to do is we want to line this up. Your, 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 your descending node and your ascending node just touching there like this. And then find this. Your yellow line is your, ah, your target in the background. Hit my right nose by accident. So what we want to do is we want to set up a node right here on this, right there. Add a maneuver. And we want to lower, so we're coming this way, we want to lower our uh, where are we here? trajectory such that we line up with this yellow in the background. So it's a lot, see? Right about there. That'll be about zero, I would think. So we got to add 243 meters a second of delta V. Uh, and then we'll be headed on the right plane. So that's part of the issue. That's why I couldn't... Uh, match up with it, because you can see when I get out, we ended up being like, you know, thousands of kilometers below Minmus by the time we got out there. Okay. So we got about 25 seconds, we got an 8 second burn, so we want to wait till this gets to at 4 seconds and then max it out. Now, this one isn't as important. You don't have to be super accurate with this. Like, honestly, I'm just going to do it right now. It's not that big of a deal. And get rid of this and just watch this. Watch your note here. We want to stop this when it gets to about zero, or as close to zero as you can get it. That means the two planes will be, we're only five degrees off, four degrees off. Three, two, is that the best we're going to get? Point three? Hmm. Hmm. Ah, that's good enough. Point three is pretty good. So now, what you want to do is go at about, I usually find 40 degrees, so that's here. 90 is here, 40 is about the middle, we want to aim it there, so we want to start firing our engines 
pretty soon. Right about here. Out of maneuver. We're going to speed up. Oh, shit. Now we're outside of Curb and Zapman's here. We're just blowing by. Okay, so see now it's passive. So what we want to actually do is I've got that wrong. We want to get this about more like 50 degrees. So kind of adjust it around like that. Yeah, see we're getting a little bit better here. Let's just try adding a little more fuel. Yeah, see, okay, we're still just behind it. There. So what does that give us? 1,700 kilometers. So we want to get a little better than that. Okay, so now what I always do is just kind of... What are we there? So 900 kilometers. It's not bad, but we can do a little better than that. See how it's getting out? 900. Now we're 368. Oh, I almost hit it there, I think, is the issue. Probably is, in fact, the issue. Oh, shit. Going too far. 556. Ow. Damn. Going... It gets really finicky because you're just these tiny little amounts of data or uh, delta V. Okay, so 331 meters, and then we can adjust as we get a little closer. Uh, but we need to add another 1,000 meters a second. So that's going to be 1,200 meters all told. So, uh, you know what, though? We'll get there on this big engine, and then we'll use a little engine that has almost 3,000 meters a second to uh, stop us, essentially. There's no atmosphere, so you've got to use the engines to slow you down when you get to Minmus. <sighs> okay. Let's just speed up, get ourselves around here. Oh, what is this? What are you telling me now? What milestone did I get? <coughs> oh. We've escaped the gravitational influence of the sun. Well. <coughs> I wonder why that is. Interesting. Okay, so we've got a 30 second burn, or 28 second burn, so it means we at about the 14 second mark we want to launch. I'm not even lined up, I should do that. I have 10 seconds to get to my blue mark. Uh-oh. Get over there. Yeah, we're just adding speed. That's all we're doing here. Okay, and launch. That was pretty tight. So we should end this at about 14 seconds past. Then it'll be T plus 14, roughly. I'll keep it on your blue marker. And while you're doing that, you kind of watch yourself. Your apoapsis climb. You want to try and get to your projected trajectory. It's not full. And stop. So just slow it down. Okay, so now what I like to do is I like to get rid of this and watch what actually happens in real life. There you go. See? So now we got a periapsis of what? Zoom out just a little bit so you get this in sight. 800. 300. Perfect. That's as, that's as well as we're going to do from here because it's pretty inaccurate. Uh, and that small little changes in your delta V here have massive effects out there. So you want to, because we're, we're fine-tuning, you want to get a little closer to try and fine-tune. If we had RCS on this vehicle, that's where you could kind of fine-tune a bit, but we do not. So, um, let's save. Uh, oh, shit. Hey, everyone, sorry about that. I, uh, for whatever reason, yeah, okay, my keybinding seemed to be a little screwed up. I couldn't quick save there, so it's F5 to quick save, which I thought, but it wasn't working. And so I went to F9, which is telling me I could quick load, obviously, I know that, but anyways. Alright, so we're quick saved, that's good. Uh, I always think it's important to save here, because so many things can go wrong between here and there, and especially there, that you just want to make sure. You've done a lot of work up to this point, don't screw it up, and you got a Kerbal on board with you. So, let's actually go in, have a little peek at him, see how he's doing. We're on the sunny side, life is good. And uh, let's do a little EVA, which I think we've already done all this. Um, yeah, okay, so, let's do, uh, where the heck are we here, uh, yeah, you need to do a little EVA report, does that do anything for us? It does, so keep it, and board, and we're now we can do a crew report, because I don't think we've been this high with one of these guys yet, maybe we have, uh, crew report, okay, we've already done that one, so reset experiment. Everything else has been done up to this point. <coughs> so, yeah, we've got 41 delta V on this back side on this engine. I almost think we should just get rid of it now. It's a big heavy weight. I guess 
And, you know, and it's only 40. Yeah, let, let's get rid of this because. Ah, mm, mm. Yeah, we're almost pointed. Uh, if you look down the line, there should be pointed. That min miss, but I don't see it out there. Anyways, okay. I, I think we'll keep it on. It can't hurt. Um, <clears throat> and we'll wait till we get a little closer to min miss, and then we'll ditch it. So, let's speed things up. Now, we want to... What I would always suggest is... Actually, no, because we want to wait till we get past them. Um, in a little... Oh, shit! Going too fast. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. Almost messed things up there. Okay, so... We want to... Do another EVA. And we want to do another EVA report. Yeah, and our high over Kerbin, we want to keep that data. We want to board back on there again. We want to do another crew report, because I don't think we've gone this high yet. With uh, Yeah, we haven't. So keep that data. Now, here's the trick. You can only do one crew report on this vessel, unless, of course, you get outside your EVA. And once you're outside on your EVA, you can then go... Uh, no, you don't want to do that. You want to go click on... Right-click on the, the command pod itself and uh, take data and then store the experiments. And now you can do another one. So now you can review your data, just make sure you got everything on there, but it's all there, I assure you. Uh, review stored data. Yeah, so that's good. That's good. Uh, that's good. Great, so we got lots of... Uh, oh, 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 sorry, resume flight. We're gonna keep that data, keep that data, keep that data. Now then, we're getting away from Kerbin. That's good. Aren't we going out? Okay. Now we're getting a little closer, so we want to speed up. A little more. <coughs> oh yeah, I told you we were going to fix that trajectory, which, you know, actually that's approaching the apoapsis. Yeah, let's do that, actually. We still got lots of time for that. We should have done it earlier, but that's all right. <coughs> I see. Okay, so we got to we need to adjust it in two directions. In fact, so we'll just do one adjustment for now. What do we have to do here? What are we looking at? We're off by a degree and a half. That's not so bad. We gotta keep our eye on this. Make sure that doesn't slam into Minmus or, or whip by it. I should say. Let's just get into warp to here. If that gets too close, we'll cancel out. But I think we got lots of time. Yeah, one hour. Yeah. Okay. We got lots of space here. Okay. So now what we want to do is we just want to slow down. Or speed up, I think. Speed up, right? Because my current apoapsis, or periapsis, sorry, is 8,000. Yeah, so it was about 2 kilometers. I guessed right. 2.2 uh, .2 kilometers we've got to add to this. But we're also going to have to do a, a, an adjustment to the plane as well. Um, that is retrograde, so that slows us down. We want to go prograde. Uh, which is here. So slow that down. <coughs> Now, we want to just add a little bit of fuel, add a little bit of delta V to this. So we want our periaps to be about 10,700, something like that, right? See, now my apps are way off, too. Okay, so... That's probably about as good as I'm going to do with that right now. So now, I need to go to the down node, or descending node. That's all I want. Wait a bit there. Yeah, so see, I also think I need to, oh, you know what, I can actually add a maneuver right here. Because I think what I'm doing is 
we need to shift yeah see how yeah i can just shift the whole thing like this i think that would probably just about do it so let's go find that target right now yeah, a tiny little bit of uh, amount of fuel to do that we're just gonna adjust our trajectory we're shifting the whole trajectory over a little bit So now our periapsis and apoapsis are where they're supposed to be. I'll bet you that's good enough once you get 10 seconds of... And if not, then we'll adjust once we get to the down descending node. Ah, I liked it. Perfect. Okay, so what do we get for that? Ah, 15 grand. All we need to do is a little bit of adjustments and two uh, reputation. Good. Okay, so now switch back to this. And let's speed up, shall we? We're going a thousand times, ten thousand times. What are you telling me here? You're telling me we're not going to make it? Or you're telling me we're going to slam into the moon or something? What is this? What am I looking at? Hmm. I think it looks like maybe I'm not going to make it even to Minmus. So I maneuver. We just want to speed up a little bit. Oh, shit. I don't know what's happening there. Yeah, I would say it means I'm not even going to make it. So 93 kilometers. Okay, so we need to add just a bit of delta V. But I got the right... Uh, I'm glad I carried this big engine with me. <laughs> we can just use it to get there. But you can see, like, it's so bouncy here because it's such a delicate little maneuver we got to do. We literally need to push a tiniest bit of delta V out the back of this thing. Okay, so get rid of this. Now we know what our target is. Now we got a 14 kilometer apoapsis. We're gonna hit the thing, essentially, is what it's estimating. But that's alright, we can adjust. I, I just gotta get within striking distance of it, and we're gonna land anyway, so I, I don't care if it says I'm gonna hit. That's that's alright. Okay, so see it slows you down, which is nice. It's actually very nice that they do that. That's a an addition they put in not too long ago, and it's actually pretty dirt. Okay, so now, what I like to do is I like to set my target. Uh, no, uh, yeah, uh, uh, focus my view on Minmus. So now I can kind of zoom in and see where my trajectory is going to be. As you can see, that's friggin' perfect. Uh, we're going in a north-south. I would have preferred it to be, you know, around it. But we can adjust that, in fact. Why don't we just do that, and I'll show you how to do that. So again, we just got to put a little maneuver in here. Where are we here? Come on now. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Zoom in a bit. Oh, shit. Okay. So we want to put one like here somewhere. So, add a maneuver. So now, what we want to do is... Once you're kind of looking at it, so you actually want to pull it around this way, obviously. See how it kind of translates down. There we go. And we want to go in towards the plant. There, look at this. So 26 kilometers to go in the right direction and just pull it a little bit closer. Maybe not quite so high. <coughs> but again, because it's such a delicate maneuver, it doesn't take much to kind of throw this off. So we want to head over, and we can do this as early as we want. The earlier the better. We don't have to wait for, you know, the three minutes or whatever. Just do it right here and now. It's a tiny little burn. Oh, oh, oh. See, this is the issue with having this big engine. That it's really heavy. Advancing line stabilizer is good, but okay. So once we do this, we got to remember to do an EVA and some science as well. Let's we'll see how that's coming around nicely. And stop. Yeah, see that's perfect. We're gonna be 10 kilometers off the surface of Minmus, which is about as low as you want to go. I mean, obviously this guy's <laughs> whatever. Probably four kilometers or something. He's just scraping the uh, the surface, but that's fine. Ten kilometers is good to get ourselves set up here. We're gonna add a maneuver, and we're gonna slow down because there's no atmosphere to slow us down. So we gotta slow ourselves down now. Uh, yeah, get ourselves down to four. You know, we don't wanna be down to as low as four kilometers, but it doesn't really matter. This is all just an estimate, anyways, because we'll do this, you know, without the computers, sort of as we're once we're doing. Okay. 
So let's go EVA because we're now high over Minmus. Falling in towards our second moon. Where is our second moon? Let's have a look from out here. Where is it? There it is. Falling. Oh, oh, you let go. All right. So now you got to hit the R RCS. That kind of turns on your jet packs. Don't need to panic or anything. We can do this. L, turn on lights. There it is. Have a little look at your ship. EVA report while you're out here. 20 signs. Yes, this is good. We are going to get a lot. So now, it's a good time to practice, actually, because this translates well to learning how to do this with your vessels. It's, it's literally no different. And later on, when we go to uh, rendezvous in space, do orbits, well, then we're going to need to know how to do this anyways. So I like chase cam. So now we just want to get close and up. And as soon as we get to see the letter or say the word grab, we will grab. Okay. Any second now. Grab. Oh, no, not good. He lost control. Oh yeah, gotta turn our CS on again. Okay, so what I haven't actually learned in all years of doing this is how to translate to the camera. Ah, there it is. Well, that's really going to make it any better, but we'll try. Those heads a little bit. And just right there. And then we'll grab it. Don't need to do anything because we are kind of headed there. And grab. Alright, so now we can board. We can do a crew report as well. That's all part of this. Uh, crew report. Keep that data. And then I think what we do, I hope I don't waste signs here, but uh, oh, I'm gonna grab. Yeah, crap, do it again. Grab. And you want to take data. And then we want to store experiments. And we want to board now. So now we should have five experiments, I think, on there, right? Because we had three before. So just to make sure. I'm going to miss. Yep, five. That's good. So now let's go back to, as you can see, like we had days to do this. It takes a long time. In fact, it's going to take uh, uh, two hours. Two hours of turning. So half a day is what we had to get into this. So let's go ahead and speed up. So what I would actually suggest to do, so you don't screw this up, is you warp to next maneuver like this so you got to click on the opposite side of where your maneuver is left click and warp to next maneuver speed oh no where's my vessel oh that was my mistake okay so we need to damn it we need to reload okay. all right well, so we're back as you can see i've um I, I've gotten us back to almost exactly where we are and have now decided to bring us in for a landing. I did a little bit of science around uh, Minmus just to kind of do that quick, some of the uh, low orbit stuff uh, that I didn't um, I didn't get to do last time because we blew past the, the planet, or the, not the planet, the moon I should say. And now we're coming in for a soft landing on Minmus itself. So let's speed this up a bit because we don't need to, I think it's, I don't know what my actual distance is. Don't tell me, does it? Mm. I wonder if it does do orbit info. Hmm. Anyways, we don't need that. Let's do this old school. Well, there's our shadow. That's what we're looking for. Uh, let's close you down. Uh, surface info, what to? Okay, we don't need. Uh, yeah, yeah, 
Don't worry, man. We're doing alright. So again, we want to... It's like cat and mouse. We want to push this ball, that little white dot. We need to speed up a little bit here. Whew! I did not leave much to... Spare there. Wow, that was rather dangerous. Okay, so again, now because we don't have any landing legs in this, we want to keep this to a below, say, two meters a second. Any faster than that, we risk very seriously damaging this engine. Okay, so we're good there. Now, because we did experiments, we can't use this, right? We've already got it, so let's just quickly do this one. Yep. Keep that data. Well, let's quickly do this one. Keep that data. Let's do a crew report. Uh, transmit that data. So we've had to go. It shouldn't, doesn't take much. Okay, we got lots of Delta V. That's not going to be an issue for getting back. Uh, okay, so let's... Now, here's the trick. We're going to EVA quick. EVA report, keep it, board, ah, oh, board anyways, and you can see your SAS turns off. You do not want to slam into the ground uncontrolled. We are going to put this down in a moment because we need to get on the ground ourselves. Now, in order to get, we want to get it down low enough that we can get this and this. So let's tip it around so we can actually see what we're doing here. But what I realized, oh God, I made a mistake when I made my ship. I put these experiments on the opposite side of my door, so he can't get out and access both experiments at the same time. <laughs> oh, God, you don't want to break anything. Oh, man. Oh, I'm being so rough with it. Uh, okay, so, get out. Let go. Okay, now go over here. I want to collect all this stuff. Oh, shoot. So... We're going to collect all of our experiments, right? Collect data. Yeah, remove that data. Uh, we're going to turn on RCS. We're going to jump up a little bit here. Okay. Go over here. We're going to collect this data. Yep. Just move this way a little bit, my friend. We're going to collect this data. Remove that data. Okay. We're going to collect... No, can't restore. We click the, yeah, take that data as well. Good. Now, we are going to take a service sample. We're on the Midlands. Great. Take that. We're going to do an EVA report. Keep that data. And we're going to plant a flag. And we're just going to say Midlands. It's always what I put in is Midlands. Uh, where are we here now? Come on. Pop up. There. Midlands. So Midlands. Okay. Where are we here now? Speed up. Up, 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 up. Come along, Jeb. Don't play around now. Time is money, my friend. All right, so board. Look at all those experiments. Whoosh, goes in. Uh, so we want to EVA again. Oh, and I forgot to grab. <laughs> Take data. Store experiments. That gives us rid of that crew EVA. Uh, oh, yeah. So we want to board again. Sorry, I forgot. We need to run this experiment. So, uh, log pressure data. We gotta keep that data. We gotta get back out. This is all a bit tedious. It's all because I made a mistake at the start. So, you should really put your hatch and all your experiments on the same side together when you're doing this. Just so you don't have to do what I'm doing. Or, you bring landing legs with you. Which we don't have yet, so it wasn't an option. Uh, 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 flags in the way. Okay, so, take this data, take data, good, RCS, jump up, 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 okay, so you want to bring yourself around here, and we're going to board, oh man, what am I doing, great, board, mm, board, now we want to slowly rotate this, uh, around this way so we can access 
Uh, we've already done this. We want to access this. Now, does that block me? Yeah, okay, so we actually got to rotate all the way around to, like, say there. Eesh. It's going to be like this once so you turn off SAS because it's going to settle. So that, okay, the Mr. Gear is going to hold it. I think, is that the Mr. Okay, so let's try and get uh, out of here. Oops, on RCS. Uh, EVA. <coughs> Climb out. So, we need to get uh, this Mr. Goo, I think. Nope. So, I guess we must have already gotten that one. Uh, this. Nope, we're done that. Gotta zoom in here a bit. This can be a bit tedious. So, take that data. Yes, great. Uh, RCS, jump up. Now, uh, which one? Is it this one maybe I haven't gotten yet? Because I, I feel like there's one I haven't gotten. I just want to make sure, because I don't want to lose any data. If we're doing this, let's do it right. No, okay, so we've already gotten it all. On board. Okay, so... Uh, is that, no, we got to do a temperature now. That's right, we haven't done the temperature here yet. we just taken the old data. So, log temperature. Keep that. EVA. Oh, you fell out this time. Nice try. Get up. RCS. So we don't have to walk this whole thing. It's faster to RCS it. Okay, that's good. Good job. Take that data. Jump up, 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 up. Yeah, good stuff. So now, where are you, my friend? Go, 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 go. Board. Good. Now, we're going to tip back up in the air. Let's make us see your ball is pointing upwards. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. No. 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 Oh. Oh, that's where things go wrong. Okay. I forgot. I didn't have SCS on. That was part of that issue. Whew. Okay, so, get ourselves tipped up. Up, up, up. All the way. Okay. Wow. Okay, now, if I'm not mistaken, to the southwest, we have a flat spot. These are very easy to land in. Easy targets to find. Let's head there. So, before we do that, let's save, everybody. All right, quick save. We got a crap load of data. That is awesome. Let's get rid of that. Uh, okay, so let's go towards 225 degrees. There's north, there's south, this is west. We want to go southwest, 225 degrees on the dial. That's where we're headed. Ready? Up and over. So that's basically what we want. We're going to switch over to orbit. You can see that's screwing this bit. So, just watch this now. Oh, get this up. See how we're headed towards 225 degrees. We want to head over a little more. Yeah, sort of something like this, I would think. Uh, yeah, maybe a little more north. There we go. That looks good. Speed it up. I want to get. I would say we stop at about the far side of this lake bed, and then uh, maybe a little further, and then when we slow down, this will come back and we'll land there. So let's uh, speed things up. Ooh, you know what? Actually, as we get to the apoapsis, we'll do it because I think I missed uh, low over curve and stuff. I feel like I it might have been the Midlands that I got instead. So crew report. No, near Midlands. Okay, so I did get that one. Hmm. Got an EVA near Midlands? Grab. Woohoo! Okay, EVA report. Uh, ah, Minmus slopes. Keep that data. Board. Which means I can do this as well, I would think. Can I? Uh, crew report. Minmus. Uh, space near Minmus. No, okay. Hmm, weird. Uh, so, we want to rotate ourselves around to retrograde. So here's where you can start to use Jeb's experience, because he can throw you into prograde or retrograde and stability assist just to, uh, you know, keep you in the one space. There's our Minmus Orbiter flying away from us there. So, now we're just going to eyeball this a bit. And if you put it into time warp, uh, Jeb doesn't keep up with you. So you can see we're not quite over the lake bed. We want to speed up a little more. And now, so I would suggest you turn that off. You can just go to SAS. Because I can screw you up pretty badly. So I want to 
push uh, our, again, cat and mouse, right? We're pushing this. Oh, push it the wrong way, in fact. Am I headed upwards? Yeah, I always do this the wrong way. So I want to push this guy downwards. We're actually, <laughs> we're shooting ourselves into space there. Okay, that's probably a little too far there, so we're starting to go upwards again. And now we're headed straight down, for the most part. Have to do a little bit of work here, there. So now we're headed straight down. We're going to speed this up. Well, it doesn't feel like, oh, it's because it's orbit. Shit. Surface. Yeah, see? Gotta remember, switch that back to surface, and then we want to get this forward. Now, straight down. Now, we're going to zip out, find our shadow. I do not know where it is. Where are you, shadow? What well, if this tells me how far the surface is? Yes, it does. Right there. Look at that. Dude, surface is it's right at sea level. I think. Is that right? I apologize, it's turned into a pretty long episode, so I hope you're bearing with me here, but, uh... I'm gonna have to turn this into a two-part episode, in fact. Uh, where is... It is really flat, is it? Hmm, where's my shadow? Okay, doing well there. Doo -doo -doo. So 300 meters out, I still can't see my shadow. Oh, there it comes. Zip it in off the screen there. So the sun's is really long on us here. The shadows are long. Uh, okay. Getting in there. There she comes. Now remember, two meters a second, no faster. Okay, we did it. So, a little more science. Science. Keep that data. Log temperature. Keep that data. So this time, we don't need to do this all on the ground like we did last time. Log pressure data. Keep that data. Crew report. Transmit that data. Because, this time we can do it in space. Heck of a lot easier to do it in space than it is down here. Because I designed it improperly. Next time I'll try to remember that. Uh, okay. So, Jeb, let's do your quick one here. EVA. Ah, oh, yeah, greater flats. Great. So, now I want you to board. We're going to lay it down on its side. Very, very gently. And that's good, right there. Okay, so we'll turn SAS off, let it do its thing. We're gonna jump out here. Uh, space, let's go. So we're going to take a service sample. Look at 150 science, amazing. EVA report, 40 science, great. We're gonna uh, review samples, where am I here? Greater flats. Okay, keep that data. Uh, plant flag. And you can see how I'm making successive trips back. It's just... Uh, oops, I want to capitalize that. Greater flats. There's just so much science to be had on these little moons. And Minmus especially, because it's such an easy one to get to. And getting all the signs is what's going to help us get to, like, say, Duna, for example. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, shit, 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 shit. What we don't want to do <laughs> is knock this over on its hatch. If I'd done that, that's it. We have to come rescue Jeb. 
Oh, I thought I'm not going to do it yet. Jeepers. Okay, board. Uh, and I think that's it. So now we're going to head back. Okay, so all that's left to do now is get ourselves back to Kerbin. Which, well, let's just save it. You know what? Before we screw things up, as I am known to do. And I think once we get into space, we've got a couple more little things we got to pick up. Yeah, because we got to, you know, pick up the science that we did while we're on the ground. And we did do a... S so how do we do with this? Yeah, 22 experiments. That was great. Okay, so let's turn SAS on. Let's get ourselves back up. Oh, shit, look at this. Down a bit here. We don't want to take it off quite. Ah, you know, screw it. We just go. We go for it. No sense wasting this. We want to go east, which is this way. Okay, that's good. Don't want to go too flat yet. We got to get ourselves upwards. Oh shit! What's happening there? Okay, we got to get ourselves up. Up, 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 up. Okay, so we want to get here. And fire. So we're going to head. Okay, so that's good enough. Wait till we get the apple apoapsis now. So we'll circularize. We'll get ourselves into a parking orbit around Minmus. Kind of get ourselves uh, figured out here. But uh, I think the last episode when we launched that um, satellite towards the sun, I was explaining to you how to get, you know, speed up and slow down in respect to uh, increasing or decreasing your orbit based on the body that you're currently on. So in this situation, Kerbin is going, or min missile is going around this way, around Kerbin. So what we want to do is we want to launch on this side of min missile. Once we circularized, we're going to launch here, so that it speeds up here, and launches off. That slows us down, and that will get us into a lower orbit. So our periapsis on this side will drop down. And then we're just going to continue to drop it all the way until we get to here, and we're going to slide in this way around. And then we're going to use our heat shield to slow us down once we get to Kerbin. So first things first. Let's get to our apoapsis. Let's get around here. So we want to get to this point, and then we're going to speed up. Okay, right about there. Now we're going to go prograde. Oh, let's go to, we don't care about surface info anymore. And then we're falling. There, okay, 17 kilometers, 15 kilometers, great. So we want delta V stats. Yeah, this is definitely the most important one. Uh, 1,800 meters a second, we got so much. I probably could have done a bunch more around Minmus while we're here, but at the same time, let's get back and finish this episode. This is going to be a, a lengthy, lengthy episode. Um, so, like I said, now we want to go back out here. Boop, 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 boop. Find out where we're going. So we're traveling this way, so get yourself lined up so you kind of know... I like to kind of know my line is here as so I'm coming in because it disappears you get a little closer. Well, you know, like that. It actually stuck around this time. So I actually want to put it right about here. We're going to add our maneuver. And we're going to speed up. Which means we're going to be launching off of uh, Minmus. See? Just like that. Along that axis. Now watch what's going to happen on the opposite side. See? Our periapsis comes way in. So because we're slowing down. Uh, in respect to the speed of Minmus. So we're going to be in a lower orbit. And then all we're going to do is just continue to lower our orbit. Except we're going to wait till we're off of its influence. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so. Uh, let's zoom in here. That's what we want. So we're going to warp to the next maneuver. And don't forget, i got to get science off this before I... Oh, yeah, RTSC, okay, I could have, damn it, I could have done some uh, science there. What do you know? Ha! That's actually flying over top of these. Oh, well, whatever, not a big deal. We're going to go back specifically to pick those up later on in life. Okay. Boop. Let's just speed up a little bit more. And there. So now we want to go, that's retrograde, we need prograde, which is right here. Oh, too far. Come on there, buddy. There you go, Jeb. Now, speed up. You see, we're kind of in a wonky orbit, but that's fine. It's not a big deal. There. That's all we're going to need. Let's take that off. So now, you're going to see we're in a much lower orbit. We're going to zoom in. We're going to speed up. Get ourselves off of Minmus here. See, now it's starting to take off from us as we 
pull away from it as well. And then as we get up to here, now we're on a new trajectory. Now we're in Kerbin's sphere of influence. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to going on here? Jeepers. That was weird. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to turn and we're going to burn retrograde. There it is. And we're just going to continue to lower our periapsis. So what I would suggest you do is you focus in on Kerbin so we can Watch this periapsis come in a little closer. See? You can see, we're burning off quite a bit of delta V to get back, but you know, we got lots, lots and lots and lots and lots of delta V yet. Okay, and then stop. So we're 400 kilometers out, but we want to get a little closer. Because I usually try and find. Uh, I, I, in this situation, I'm going to want it to come in at about 30 kilometers, maybe just less. Like that. Uh, there. Perfect. Yeah, see, now it's going to come in. We're going to burn through the atmosphere. We'll land on the sunny side of the Earth. This is our Kerbin. That is perfect. So now, let's go back to where we were. As we're pulling away. So now we want to EVA. I say it's disengaged. I think we've already EVA reported. Yeah, we're high over curve, so don't bother. We already know we got that. Uh, let's go RCS. We'll let go. RCS. Turn on our lights. Okay, so. Uh, what do I need? I need to get uh, the temperature, right? If you do recall. Ah! Everything's freaking out on me. What is going on here, people? What is going on? Free camera. Okay, so now we want to grab this one. Take data. Take data. Good. Now, we're going to zip down a little bit here. Okay, get our head close to it. There we go. That's all we need. Oh, 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 oh no. Freaking out. A little trickier than it looks. Take that data. Okay. And I feel like, was there one of these that I didn't get? I, was, I should have gotten that one and gotten that one. I think I did, but I don't know. Restore. Collect data. Remove that data. And I think that's it, in fact. I don't know where it is. Okay, so let's just push ahead. Board. Ah, crap. Okay. Board. <coughs> Alright, a whole bunch more data. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. That's all we can really do here. So, now we got our heat shield to deal with. We got our parachute. We got this. Okay, we're good. Now, all we're going to do is save, obviously. And now we're going to speed up until we get closer to Kerbin. Now you're going to see, you got to be careful because this, like it starts off really slow and then it just fires around the earth. Okay, so you're actually, what you're almost better to do is you go like this. Uh, warp to here. And hit escape if you need to. But uh, Like if you miss it, you miss it. Uh, sometimes the... Computer screws us up. I've seen it just like zip by the point you want to warp to. Okay, it didn't this time. Beautiful. So now then, we're traveling in at three kilometers a second and quickly speeding up. Let's make sure we're still where we want to be at 26 kilometers. I think that's perfect. Um, 
So we don't need much more here. What we're going to do is point our nose kind of parallel like this to where we're sh flying. Because <laughs> it had happened once where you, oops, you launch this part out behind you and then it catches up and slams into your vessel. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that doesn't happen. You disconnect like this. And then you turn yourself, oops, where are we here? Retrograde. And there, and that's, we never have to worry about that again. And now, just got to enjoy the ride and remember to blow our parachute. All right, so let's speed things up here a bit. Now we're starting to get in the atmosphere, so we're going to go to four times. Things are starting to heat up a bit, you can see it. There it comes, all right, baby. Oh. See our periaps is dropping quickly here. We're still clipping along. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we'll land on on land. I mean, obviously, it'd be nice if we could land closer to our actual space center, but I'll just take what I can get here. Yeah, all right, we're uh, looks to me like we may skip over this land here. parachute until I think it's 250 meters a second, but essentially wait till this turns green, then you hit your uh, space to engage it. If you do it too early, when that's red, it rips, and then you're done. Game over. So we are going to have just a tremendous amount of science. I'm gonna, like, we got to be close to a, I don't know, 500 science? So when we come... 70. Slow down too quickly here. But we've still got five kilometers. We've got lots of space. It's yellow. We blow it now and you risk it, but it's okay. So get ourselves down to a little lower. Okay, so let's pop it now. There we go. And that is our first manned mission. Well, I guess we haven't quite landed, but I'm not too worried about this. That's going to be our first manned mission to body off of Kerbin. That was pretty successful. We'll wait to see what we get for science here. I'm going to speed this up now because no point messing around. And then we'll end the
the episode as soon as we get back to the Space Center, and we know how much science we've got in the next episode, we'll spend some of that science. So, recover vessel. Let's see how we did here, folks. Ha <laughs> ha! Wow, we did a little more than that. We had 1,100 science. Ha <laughs> ha! <All right. laughs> 26 experiments. That was fantastic. Very, very good. Couldn't be happier. Ah, oh, six experience points. Nice. Uh, yeah, that was awesome. Then another six science there. All that money. My lord, we did really well on this one. So 1,200 science. Uh, just out of interest's sake. What are we? I think we upgraded right to the next level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? But we're going to almost need to upgrade it here so we can do some of this fun stuff. Because there are some cool things up here. Like... Like this, where we can start scanning the surface of the moon. We can start to set up, eventually, once you get up to, where is it? Is it this level? No. What's that thing? Mechanical jib. Yeah, again, I don't, like I said to you last time, I don't know much about mech jib, so. Uh, advanced scanning technology, ion propulsion, that's, this stuff is so cool. Uh, to this. Once we get into this stuff, we can actually produce our own fuel out into... Uh, space. So what I'd like to try and do at some point is set up on Minmus, which is really easy to get up and off of uh, because of its gravity. You set up a fueling station and you put a big tanker essentially into a parking orbit around uh, Minmus. And then we're going to set up a fueling station on Minmus that can take off once it fills out the tanks, flies up, docks in uh, the parking orbit with the tanker, fills it all up. And then what we can do is we can use fuel to get off of um, Kerbin, like with our big ships, you know, if we want to go to Duna or Eve or whatever, and all you got to do is you get to Minmus, and then you refuel, and you got tons of fuel to do everything you need. You can, it's so much easier to get off Kerbin that way. So, anyways, that's for future, and <laughs> much future, I should say, way down the line. Um, but, uh, so we're going to end it here. When we start the next episode, we're going to start to buy some of this, and for certain, I think we're going to be moving into this next section as well, and picking up some of the science that's in here. This stuff's pretty fun to use. Makes it uh, much more like a game, you know, we're really having fun playing like little kids. Great. Yeah, we got uh, seismometers and there's all kinds of sciencey stuff we can do here. So, anyways, so that's for next episode. Right For now, I'm Captain Canuck. Thank you very much for paying attention. This is the length of the episode. I hope you stayed through for the whole thing. Uh, we're going to have a lot more Kerbal Space Program in the future. If you like what you saw, please click like. If you want to see more, please subscribe. Thank you very much for tuning in. Have a great day.